So like you had before, if you go to Legacy, you have sh sugar fields for detail, edit and so forth. The same applies here. We have now, we call it modes, because as you know, we have an, only a record view. We don't have a detail view and an edit view. We have a record view, which can be on a edit mode and detail mode. Though the fields have more modes, you have list mode, you have filter mode, you have mass updates mode. So you have many other types of modes and you can change the display of each field type depending on that mode. And some will fall back to the others. Uh, we're going to, go to cover that now. Okay, so where are fields on the code in case you want to, to have a look into it? So if you go to core, app, then core, but we're going to cover the parts here, there will be a fields folder. The, in this fields folder, you're going to see many types of fields. It's going to be a base field, boolean, composites, currency, and so forth. And here you'll, you'll see some components slash HTML slash other things that are related with fields. We're going to open a varchar, for instance, which is the, the best example because it's the most standard field type. And if you go here, you'll see templates and you'll see detail, edit, and field. What does this mean? This means that the varchar has an implementation for detail mode, edit mode, and filter mode, okay, which will render differently, of course. Other fields won't have that, like password doesn't have filter, phone just has detail, and we could open many others, and there are, there are some exceptions to this here. So how do, do fields work? There's a main fields component that is called everywhere on the app. So no one or nowhere in the app, the varchar field component is called directly. So if I could go here, edits. For those who know uh, Angular, like this is the way you call components. So you have this selector here, which would do something like. So as you can, it's not called anywhere, just on the spec file. So, but that's the test file. So things everywhere on the app uses this the main field component, which is the SCRM field. It's important to note because on your customizations and the way we built this is that, that you are able to reuse this here. So it's a good practice to reuse the SRM field, not to add an input directly, not to do a text area or whatever. Use this SRM field to keep it standard and the display will be consistent everywhere on the app. That's the goal of, a, of having a single entry point, if you can call it that. Uh, as you can see here, the SRM field is used in many places on the table, on the field, grid field layout, on widgets, and so forth, okay?